I'm Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times. It's Thursday, October 1st, and by golly, it really did feel a little bit like fall this morning. Wasn't that great? Start with a piece of bad news. It's not directly relevant to, to Arkansas, but it, but of course concerns us all. There's been another mass shooting, this time at a community college in Roseburg, Oregon. A state police spokesman there says 10 people have been killed, perhaps 20 have been wounded. Um, what else can you say? I, the, the solution the Arkansas legislature is to put more guns in, in college campuses to prevent gun violence. News today from the Little Rock School District. Superintendent Baker Curris announced that he's moving forward on a couple of big school plans. He's going to put under contract the former Leisure Arts Building in the Johnson Ranch area off Highway 10 as a potential site for a, a new middle school for Western Little Rock, something that's been demanded in that part of town for a long time and been planned there. Land was purchased, but they haven't been able to go forward with construction. They'll take six months to see if the, the building can be adapted for it. At the same time, He's going to deliver on a promise to begin in serious uh, ways the planning process for a new high school in southwest Little Rock. These two schools were supposed to be built concurrently, but that would have taken a bond issue, and there's, voters are not expected to approve any tax increase for Little Rock anytime soon. Planning for the high school could take up to five years long before it could be completed. Moving ahead on the middle school might slow a movement to build more charter schools in West Little Rock and leach still more better students from the Little Rock School District, something that's caused some of its problems to date. The state legislature is having a hearing this afternoon arranged by Senator Alan Clark, and it's to talk about the process by which the Department of Human Services removes children from home when they think they're in danger. Clark is motivated by a constituent who thinks he was treated unfairly by state officials, but, but I think it's worth noting this is a very controversial case. It was in, in court for a long time. The court proceedings were secret, but the judge clearly found reason, based on evidence he heard, to keep the children out of the home for a period of time, suggesting that there were some concerns for their safety. Uh, the state is always, it, it has hands tied when it's faced with these situations because it must be confidential about the matters it handles, and the other side can say what they can say, and they're not really well versed to. Uh, to be able to respond. Senator Jason Rayford back in the news again. There's a good story in the Arkansas Times this week by Leslie Peacock about a series of really bullying uh, emails that uh, Rayford has sent to state health and state medical board officials trying to demand what he calls proof that his bill that requires a fetal heartbeat test and information to be given to women seeking abortions is being enforced. The medical board has passed a rule, just as it passes a lot of rules about the practice of medicine. We've had no complaints that the rule is not being followed. Rayford thinks because abortions have continued, the rule must not be must not be being observed. Studies have shown, however, that women who go to seek abortion think about it carefully before they go, and even when they're forced, as Rayford's legislation does, to undergo uh, sonograms and other tests and to be told about their chances of, of uh, delivering a child, that they still go ahead and make the tough decision that they've made in the first place. Raper just simply doesn't believe it. He wants access to women's medical records. I don't think the law allows him to see those records, but he hasn't given up yet. Planned Parenthood continues in the news. Last night, Congress completed action on a continuing funding resolution that continues to include money for Planned Parenthood. All the members of the Arkansas delegation voted against this, except Steve Womack. He opposes the funding, too, but didn't want to shut down the government. Diane Curry, who's a Democrat running for 2nd District Congress, called on French Hill, the Republican incumbent in that district, to uh, stop playing politics with women's health care. She says Planned Parenthood serves a good service, and taking the money away would, would hurt women, particularly poor women. And finally, the state filed a lengthy motion today asking Judge Christine Baker to allow it to cut off funding to Planned Parenthood in Arkansas as it wants to do. She's issued a restraining order Friday. She will decide whether to issue a preliminary injunction. She said the state has little chance of winning, but the state sees it differently. They've, they've filed a lengthy brief, 31 pages, that sets out the reasons why. Uh, there's been a settlement of a lawsuit. The federal government, uh, the estate of Scooter Stewart, who once had it one bank, on how to split up assets left after his death. The bank will get about $6.8 million, and the family and the feds will split about $8 million to settle a huge dispute that arose out of allegations that he'd, he'd, he'd misused federal bailout money for personal purposes. The Little Rock, uh, your city government at work, I noticed yesterday that they were digging up a brand new sidewalk on Main Street, found out that they were installing some new street lamps. Somehow they didn't get those done at the time the sidewalk was fixed in the first place. It's only going to cost 80000 more dollars, just, just chump change in the city scheme of things. Mayor Mark Stodola wanted to get this work done so that the street lamps in the 200 block of Main would be the same as the ones in the 100 block of Main Street. And finally, in, in the karma category, 
go ahead and, and chuckle if you want at the Republican legislator who resigned in Indiana because uh, somebody got hold of his cell phone and sent out a sex video to everybody on his contact list. It appears that the video featured him as one star but not his wife as another uh, leading player. He, uh, the karma is, of course, is that he's a very religious man and he uh, fought for bills to discriminate against gay people on the grounds of religion and, and thinks that gay people are just tearing down the institution of marriage. Not that sex videos with somebody who's not your wife would do anything like that. But the second part of karma is, is that he also blocked a bill in Indiana that uh, would make it a crime to send out revenge porn, that is to send pornographic images of somebody by digital means without their permission, which is just what happened to him. The Arkansas angle is, is that we do have a revenge porn war uh, law, so uh, let that be a lesson to all with, uh, oh, racy things on their cell phones. I'm Max Brantley. I'll be back tomorrow. You feel it in your heart, the spirit of Little Rock. We've had that spirit since 1927, helping build our city by producing decades of leaders in the heart of our state. We are the heart of business and innovation, the heart of politics and government, the heart of arts and culture, and in our city beats the heart of a Trojan. UALR, we are Little Rock's team and Little Rock's university.